Do you know the difference between the terms loan and credit? Do you know how to use these words correctly when talking to business partners and colleagues? If you're not quite sure, stay tuned and find out. Hey, real estate experts, it's Jenny from Real Estate English Academy, the place where you can boost your English. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'd really appreciate it. We publish a new video every Tuesday. Our lessons are a convenient way for you to improve your fluency. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video. There'll be a quiz waiting so you can test what you've learned. Let's kick off today's lesson by taking a closer look at the term loan. A loan is a specific amount of money that you can get from a bank and that you then have to repay with interest within a certain period of time. Here's an example. A bank, which acts as the lender, lends a certain amount of money to an investor who acts as the borrower for a specific period of time at a certain interest rate. People typically take out a loan to buy something they couldn't otherwise pay for outright, like a house or a car. After making their purchase, the borrower repays the loan plus interest within the specified term of the loan. Now let's take a look at the term credit. Credit is typically granted to a borrower in the form of a line of credit. A line of credit is a certain amount of money that is readily available to a borrower who can draw and spend that money up to a certain limit. The most common examples that you might be familiar with are business lines of credit and credit cards. As a rule of thumb, Loans are more suitable for large one-time investments or purchases like a new home or a university education. Lines of credit are better to cover ongoing, small, or unforeseen expenses. A small business owner might put the office supplies or other office materials they need to buy on a credit card. Now, let's take a look at some key vocabulary associated with the terms loan and credit. First, a borrower applies for a loan or applies for a line of credit. The bank or credit issuer then reviews the application and either grants the loan or line of credit or rejects the loan or line of credit. If the loan or credit is granted, the borrower can take out the loan or draw on the line of credit. Then the borrower needs to repay the loan or pay off the outstanding amount on the credit. If a borrower can't pay back a loan or line of credit, then the borrower defaults on the loan or simply fails to repay the outstanding balance. Now let's talk about a language trap. Whenever you use the word interest, make sure that you always use it in its singular form, as in, we got lucky and got low interest on our mortgage. The interest on lines of credit is typically higher than on loans. The word interests in the plural refers to things you like to do in your free time like sports or reading. The time period in which you need to pay back a loan is called the term, as in, I recently took out a personal loan with a term of five years. My spouse and I just paid off our mortgage, which had a term of 28 years. Let's say you want to buy a new home and you need a loan. The type of loan you would take out is called a mortgage. In order to get a mortgage, the bank usually asks for some sort of security from the borrower. This security is called collateral. 
Usually, the property itself is used as collateral, which means that the bank can take over ownership of the asset if the borrower defaults. Okay, time for the quiz. Sarah and Bob are married and run a small coffee shop together. With their first child on the way, they decided to buy a house. After having found their dream home, they went to the bank and applied for a line of credit, loan, interest. The bank offered them a mortgage over a 30-year line of credit, loan, term. The interest term credit on the mortgage is low and therefore affordable. They also wanted to hire a few people for their coffee shop so that they could spend more time with the baby. So they talked to the bank again and asked for a business, interest, line of credit, lender, so that they would have enough cash available if business was to slow down for a month and they needed to pay their employees. If everything goes as planned and Sarah and Bob don't term interest default, their mortgage will be paid off by the time they are 55. Without a mortgage to pay, they will have more time to pursue their interest lender interests. So, how did you do? Let's find out. The answers are number one, loan. Number two, term. Number three, interest. Number four, line of credit. Number five, default. Number six, interests. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you found this video valuable. It definitely keeps us inspired. Thanks for watching. See you next time.